It's a good thing milk doesn't leave a stain. Just ask my Aunt Maisie. She said even turpentine wouldn't take the stains out of Cousin Darcy's clothes after that cow fell on him. Oh, and sorry. It's okay, Buford. You were distracted. My mom says I was born distracted. <gasps> You should be as good as new after a few minutes under the hand dryer. Ah! Oops. Buford, open the door! Open the door! Whoa! Ah! Buford strikes again, no? I don't know how he does it. Things just happen when Buford's around. And they usually happen to me. Jacob's locked himself in the girls' washroom! <laughs> Gee, I guess milk does leave a stain after all. <laughs> 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 The slowest kids will be doing push-ups. Ready? Your turn, Tutu. Unless you'd rather use the girls' rope. <laughs> Favor? Later, Buford. <sighs> Whoa! I was wondering if I could put a few things in your locker. I forgot my lock combination again. It's odd how I can always remember yours. Go ahead. <gasps> what, Buford? Which locker is yours again? It's right beside yours. Gotcha. Thanks, Jay. Oh. Whoa! Buford! <laughs> okay, Tutu, you want to clown around? Hmm? Well, you and your pal just earned yourselves 25 push-ups. Ooh, ooh, I, I can't. I have to leave early for a dentist appointment. Fine, you're excused, Pew. Looks like you've got all 50, Tutu. 50 push-ups. I can barely lift my arms. They're like rubber. Buford is a lightning rod for disaster. And you are the one who always gets the zap. Not always, Renee. Not always. <laughs> okay. Always. I will not try to maim or mangle my dear, precious, beloved Principal Greedy Guts ever again. Hey, Jacob. Look what I found. You can have it if you want. Gee, thanks, Buford. Oh, no need to thank me, Jacob. That's what friends do. They help each other out. 
Especially when something bad happens, like locking yourself in the girls' washroom. Or if a cow falls on you. <sighs> this is the worst week ever. Jacob Toto, get up here this instant. What did I do? What did I do? It's not always about you, you know. Thanks to my excellent instruction, you won the Why I Want to Be the First Canadian on the Moon essay contest. I did? I did? Thanks to you, but mostly me, the entire class has been invited to spend a day at the Canadian Space Camp. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Space Camp! Yeah! And they want you, Mr. Egghead, to spend two weeks training with your fellow astronauts. They're making me an honorary Canadian astronaut. It's even signed by the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister. Oh, quit bragging. It looks like the worst week ever just turned into the best, no? Yes. I brought comic books, snacks, and lots and lots of pop. We can drink as much as we want, because there's a washroom in the back. Don't worry, it's girls and boys. So there's no chance you might repeat that little embarrassing incident. <laughs> Asleep. Come on, Buford, I gotta go! Go? But we just got here. No, I gotta go! Oh. <sighs> Buford! As your lovable, huggable Prime Minister, I, Perry Pleaser, am pleased to welcome the kids of Dreary Meadows to Space Camp. Over the past few years, our scientists have created state-of-the-art communication satellites and missile defense systems. And now they are feverishly working on a rocket that will put the first Canadian on the moon. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed your visit. <laughs> huh? Oh, <clears throat> yes, I almost forgot. Where is the little lady who wrote the essay? Mm? Oh, oh, he's in the little ladies' room. I mean, boys and ladies. Washrooms? <laughs> no problem. We'll let you use the washrooms right after you meet your fellow astronauts. So long, kids. <laughs> Get them back on the bus. Okay, boys. Clear them out of here. some kind of student exchange program? Bobo? Um, thanks. Welcome to Dreary Meadows. Don't worry, Bobo. Just stick with me. I'll show you the ropes. <laughs> Get it? Show you the ropes? Gee, that always cracked Buford up. <laughs> hey, Tutu, the only difference between this loser friend and your old one is this one needs a shave. Buford's not a loser, and neither is Bobo. 
<laughs> Move it, Tutu! Whoa! Look at Bobo go! I take it back. Your new pal is styling, Tutu. You should have seen him, Renee. A triple somersault in midair. Incroyable. <laughs> hey, you just missed the old slip on the banana peel trick, Jake. Thanks to Popo. Yesterday, it would have been Buford who dropped the banana peel and then wondered why you were on the floor. <laughs> yeah, guess I'm lucky Buford's at space camp. I mean, sort of. If we are going to finish our group project by tomorrow, we will have to pull an all-nighter, no? <sighs> yes. No time for hoops, Bobo. Our history project is due tomorrow. Early Canadian forts. Type, spell check, <gasps> and he's even done a bibliography. Wow, that's great. That's amazing, Bobo. Now all we have to do is build the model. I am certainly glad I have a friend who has a friend like Bobo. <laughs> Your new pal is the coolest, Tutu. Yo, everyone, listen up. Saturday afternoon, pool party, my place. Pool party! All right. Jake and Bobo are the guests of honor. Guests of honor? That's great. That's amazing. Hello? Jacob? Buford? I'm at space camp. Yeah, I know. It's great here. I get to eat hamburgers you squeeze out of a tube, drink out of a dish, and sleep on a bare concrete floor. Gee, that sounds like fun. Yeah, and the other guys are so friendly. How's school? Great, amazing. I've been having the time of my life since you're not, I mean, um, Ever since you... Oops, gotta go. They turned the lights out at 3.15 to save on electricity. Oh, and Jacob? Thanks for letting me take your place at space camp. But I didn't really... You're the best friend a guy ever had. See you in a week. See you soon, Buford. See you soon. What a bunch of dimwits! <laughs> But why should you feel guilty about Buford? Because at first, I was sort of mad at him for taking my place at space camp. But I'm having a great time, Renee. All because Bobo's here and... Well, because, uh... Buford is not. Yeah. I'm even kind of glad he took my place. Space camp sounds awful. Absolutely abysmal! You can say that again. Each and every one of them. Not the students, Miss Sour Pickle. They greeds. All the marks at Dreary Meadows are, well, dreary, to say the least. Tell me about it, Superintendent Fussbudget. They're a bunch of unteachable cretins. Brats without brains, as I affectionately call them. Not a single one capable of learning the simplest <laughs> equation. <laughs> That certainly doesn't look like the work of a brainless brat. Me? Well, well, I can't possibly. I mean, this is too... I, I don't know where... I... He can't take over my class. He's a... a... a student. This is madness! Fast Budget gave him my chair, my parking space, even my Marvel's coffee mug! Who knows where it will end? Come back after breakfast, Sour Pickle. Your histrionics are giving me indigestion. Don't you understand? The 
students are learning. Well, you only have yourself to blame. Obviously, you weren't pulling your weight. <laughs> Anyone who sits around with their feet up all day is just asking to get bounced. Greedy guts! <laughs> you just read my mind. <laughs> How can he take over my school? He's a... a teacher! Whoa! In one short week, average marks have shot up into the high 80s. Not one student has been absent, and not a single detention required. In recognition of Drury Meadows' outstanding achievement... Wow! Superintendent Buzzbudge is throwing a party for the whole school! The Montreal Marvels signing autographs, a private performance by Cirque du Lune, and a concert by the Totally Clothed Ladies. That's our favorite band of all time! I meant mine and Buford's favorite. He'll sure be sad he missed them. Hello? Buford, I was just thinking about you. You're on the news? I, Harry Pleaser, am pleased to announce that tomorrow morning I, Harry Pleaser, will send the first Canadian to the moon, a brave space monkey named Buford. I don't know how he does it. Buford has all the luck. Our patriotic astro monkey will boldly go where no Canadian has gone before aboard the Canuck Duck said, not Z, 1,000. Hmm. That rocket looks like it's made out of birch bark. <laughs> the rocket's made out of birch bark! Welcome, space fans. By launching the first Canadian to the moon, I will also launch myself, Perry Pleaser, to another victory in the upcoming election. But, before we begin countdown, I'd like to take a few moments to reflect on me. Prime Minister or not, there's no way I'm gonna let him send Buford to the moon. to share. Buford! Jacob, you came to see me blast off? No, I came to stop you, Buford. I came to stop you. I won't let you go up in that rocket. Oh, well, okay. I got to take the two-week course, so it's only fair that you get to go to the moon. The rocket is made out of birch bark. It's not safe. Don't underestimate birch bark, Jacob. It's a very durable vehicular building material that has stood the test of rivers, rapids, and even the Great Lakes. Oh, don't forget this. Buford, I don't want either of us to go. I just want you to come home. I don't know what I would do without the best friend I ever had. Gee, if you missed me, you could have just said so, Jacob. So, who's the lucky monkey that's going to the moon? 
Hey, where are you guys going? Let's go home, Buford. Bobo's driving. Unhand my space monkey! Uh-oh. There he is. Grab him. Bobo! Get him on the rocket. Thank you. We've got to save him. Goodbye yet, Jacob. Bobo is driving us home, remember? Buford, how can he drive us back? He's... <coughs> Bobo! <coughs> Wait a minute. If you're down here, then who's... <coughs> See you, Bobo. And thanks. Where's he going? I don't know, but wherever he goes, I'm sure he'll make out just fine. Thanks for coming to get me. That's what friends do. Well, at least now I know what I want to be when I grow up. An astronaut? No, a monkey. I'm sure you'll be great at it. <laughs> We've seen this episode. Yeah, but only 14 times. Let's watch something else. All right. Ah! Oops, sorry. I hope root beer doesn't leave a stain. <laughs> it's okay, Buford. I think I'll just leave it this way. And for the first time in our nation's history, taxes Buford, are lower, look. government spending scandals have been eliminated, thanks to the Prime Minister. So that's where he went. I wonder where Perry Pleaser ended up. Hi, Perry Pleaser! Promise I will send the first moon man to the Earth! You don't have any birch bark up here, do you? <laughs>